Today I want to talk about notifications and alerts in the latest NTOPNG version. Up to version 4, the mechanism alerts were generated was static. It means that you can go inside the preferences and specify where send those notifications and specify there how the notifications are delivered. For instance, you can use email and specify in the preferences how to do that. This mechanism was not flexible enough to serve everybody's need. This is because people want to receive different types of alerts, multiple people can be notified, or multiple people can be notified over different channels. Because of that, in the latest NTOPNG version, we have implemented a totally new mechanism. In order to use it, you have to go inside the system menu on the up bar and then moving the system menu, you will see here on the sidebar two new entries, recipients and endpoint. Let's start with the first one. Inside the endpoint, you can define those destinations that are supposed to be receiving alerts. As you can see, NTOPNG comes with a built-in destination, SQLite that it is used to store alerts that are shown in the app menu bar in case they are available. So it is not possible to execute any action, but it has to stay as it is. You cannot delete it. In order to add your endpoint, you have to click on the plus button here. As you can see, a new window opens up and here you can specify your endpoint. There are several endpoints defined inside NTOPNG and uh, in addition to the standard one that you know already from version 4, there are new ones. For instance, so one of the latest ones is the Discord, that is a popular service for messaging. Today I am going to demonstrate how the new alert works using this Discord. Let's now close this window for a second. And uh, let's start with Discord itself. So, Discord is a messaging application. As you can see, you can send and talk with friends. Now, in order to send alerts to Discord, the best thing to do is to create your own server. So in essence, you have to go inside the home here and there is a plus button and here you can create a server. Create your own server so that you can send your own uh, messages there or you can use an existing one to send messages. So let's click on create my own. I can specify a name or, or leave it as this and then click on create. Once the server is created, the server appears here on, on the left menu bar of uh, Discord. As you can see, Discord comes with two types of channels, the text and the general one. Here, let's add a new channel, text channel called Entop, okay, and create channel here. Once the channel is created, we have to uh, use it. Okay? And in order to do that, we have to click here on Edit Channel, click on the wheel, and then click on integrations. As you can see, there are no web hooks defined. This is the way NTOPNG delivers events to the Discord. Let's now do create a web hook, and then here there is a new web hook. We can change the name or leave it as is. As you can see, this one is delivered to the channel NTOP. Okay? Let's now click on the copy web hook URL that is copied into memory. Now let's create an endpoint. So let's get an endpoint, new one, Discord, and then paste here the URL that we have created from Discord. And then you can click on Add. Now, this one defines the endpoint, I mean, where to deliver events. But we also have to specify the recipients, so the people who are interested in receiving those events. In order to do that, we go in recipients, and here we have to add a new one, Luca. Okay. We use the endpoint we have just created, Discord, and yeah, can specify username, Luca, and top Luca. Let's say, okay. As you can see in Discord, there are some restrictions. We cannot put, for instance, a, a dash, so we have to remove them. Okay, so make sure that uh, this applies. We can specify what to send to Discord. Everything or just errors or warnings. 
and we also can specify what type of information to send if we just want to send security events, network events, or anything else. Before doing that, okay, let's go back to Discord, close it, and as you can see, there are no messages here. Now, before saving it, I suggest you to click on Test Recipient. As you can see, a test is happening, and here, an example, uh, a test message is received. Everything works. Now let's click on Add. Okay. Now we have to decide where to apply this recipient. So, namely, who is supposed to send information to this recipient? In order to do that, in TopNG we have the definition of pools. In essence, a group of resources that somehow are together special. If you want to send information about uh, um, uh, host or about flows, you can specify everything here. So for instance, uh, here you can specify about host, here about flows, devices, uh, system, everything. So let's start with flows, for instance. So with flows, we want to say, in case this is an event for flows, let's send it to Discord. Let's click on here, and now we select it. So in case there is an event for a flow, now we send this information to Discord. Please make sure that you don't remove the built-in SQLite recipient because this one is used by NTOPNG for its internal use. Let's now do the same here. Let's go and delete this one that it's a configuration that I previously had. And here we have to specify user script, okay? But we can specify, even in this case, Discord. Let's now go for system. Now, as soon as there is a new event happening, a new flow happening uh, that uh, is somehow special, an alert will be generated. Here, all the flows look good, but sometimes we are doing something that is weird. So we are accessing websites that are not good, or we are having flows with a special uh, type of events, or special type uh, of, uh, let's say, uh, configuration or connections. So for instance, when we are talking with a black blacklisted server, this is the typical example. Until this happens, okay, there are no events sent to Discord, okay? So you will see here the messages only when something goes wrong. So for instance, let's talk about a malware website. Let's open a, a malicious website. Okay. And let's see if NTOPNG has detected it. As you can see, it has been detected, and as you can see, we have received our alert. Okay, so this is the way everything works. In essence, NTOPNG, as soon as it understands that there is something to deliver to somebody, in addition to storing it internally with the built-in SQLite, you can see past alert, flow alerts, this is happening because of the built-in SQLite, you can specify, and you have to go inside the system interface, an endpoint and a recipient or multiple recipient for your alert. In this case, here, you can specify even multiple of them. So you can say, I want to send an email and I want to send Discord. And in order to do that, you have to specify the recipient and, and the point and then go to pools and specify the set of host, or in my case, the set of flows, okay, in this case will be everyone. Instead, here with host, you can specify a host pool, so a set of hosts that are applied to this configuration, or the set of interfaces that will be receiving uh, those alerts and so on. In order to specify that, you have to go inside here and specify 
Discord. So from this time on, whenever I receive an event for a device loopback, those events will be sent to me, and top Luca. Okay? And we also have the ability of specifying user scripts configuration. But this is something I will be talking uh, in another video. Today I want to focus on just alerts. Okay, so just to recap, endpoints specify the destination for our alerts. There are many destinations built in inside the top NG. The most interesting one for many of you is probably Elasticsearch, so that you can specify a server to which alerts are delivered, so that you can create your own dashboards there and see what is happening with a popular and, and powerful Elasticsearch view. Today I show you Discord, but there are many other uh, endpoints for, for receiving that. For instance, email, Slack, syslog, or a webhook. Of course, depending on the endpoint type, you have to specify different type of parameters. So in this case, for email, you have to specify the email server and the sender. And if you have to be authenticated, also the additional parameters. And this defines the endpoint. So it specifies the destination, so that you can specify multiple recipients with the same destination. So this allows you, for instance, to define an email account, and then to specify, I want to send email to user 1, user 2, user 3, or just to everybody, or to multiple of them. And here you have to list the recipients, and once you have listed the recipients, you have to apply them to a pool. A pool is a set of resources to which you want to apply a certain configuration. For instance, for the host, you can specify the user script. Like I've said, we'll be talking about that in a different video. But today we have to think about recipients. Okay? So this is where our alerts are delivered for this group of hosts. And uh, as you can see here, there is also the possibility of delivering alerts for SNMP devices for active monitoring, host pools, and many other things. So NTOPNG has been modified to be flexible, to be able to specify exactly in a very high granular way where alerts have to be delivered. And as you can see, this is just an example of uh, what you can do with Discord and NTOPNG. Thank you very much for listening, and thank you for using our tools.